because there's a little bit of thunder going on over there somewhere. I haven't seen any flashes. <laughs> There's the sun. <laughs> wow. So I am in the right spot. Um, maybe you can hear it, the creek's just over there. And uh, got this water source right here, which is probably the cause of insane amount of bugs here. But I'm pretty sure this is where Mickey's been mining up in here. And it looks like just up there behind that tree up in the top there where he was scooping stuff out of there this is probably the spot where he found those big nugs so I'm gonna play around in this lower section see what's been washing down and uh, here let's go look at this unit over here let me show you this thing Mickey has lent me his he calls it a hand trommel <laughs> but it's a uh, homemade bucket in a bucket system sort of kind of right along the lines of the um, arbor classifier but made out of plastic homemade hell of a lot cheaper than an arbor classifier that's for sure alrighty hey welcome to uh, what I'm dealing with today I'm back here at the ditch um, this is the way into the to the mine to the pit it's down below it's about 300 feet of overburden it's been removed so it's a big pit um, but unfortunately they got this ditch here um, and I've been told it's okay for me to do this so I'm trying to fill this in uh, drag this log down here I rolled it down from up there and then dragged it down into here and I've been sort of shoveling away and picking away at it but I did some yesterday last night actually in the evening when it got cooler and uh, the stuff was like concrete but I picked away at it with my pick and did some damage and then came out today well of course it's been raining all night and uh, today and uh, this is all clay, so this is really ultra mucky. Um, I didn't have my rain pants on, so I uh, ended up the water ended up dripping down the back of my coat and getting my ass soaked. So uh, I've regrouped. I've gone and got my gum boots on and my rain pants. Uh, yeah, I'm geared up for the weather and. Uh, Pitter patter. Let's get at her. As you guys can see this is actually I think drivable on um, this clay stuff is packed down like insane it really is just <laughs>
me adjust this. Come up a little. There we go. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so that drive took us all the way down here, and we are at the famous Keithley Creek. It's right down here behind me. I'm sure you can hear it. That's why I'm I'm yelling. But uh, yeah, I'll turn the camera around and show you the pit. This was this is actually a mining camp. Um, they've been working here for a long time, uh, but since COVID was shut down, and then well, you know how shit happens. So let's show you around and. Uh, We're going to be taking a walk up creek up there and uh, trying some pans there, but there's the bottom of the pit. And uh, I'll just do the full 360 for you. There's that, uh, might be able to get a glimpse of the machinery up top there. There's old Subi Dooby. What a champ. And uh, here, let me adjust the camera. There's the creek down below, if you can get a glimpse of that. I'll show you that in a bit. And there we go. Well, this is interesting. Um, I was walking here, and uh, you know, there's this slough here off the side coming down, and uh, and just over there, there's a pipe. I'm wondering if there was a pipe that's blocked, or and then there's this uh, exposed rock face here, and it's all like super red. And uh, I'm gonna go over there and grab a sample uh, and uh, to take home. Well, we're here. We're standing down here. Actually, we are in standing in Keithley Creek. Ah, uh, and I am about three kilometers that way is where French Snowshoe Creek will uh, cut in. So if you know where that is, you know where I am. Look at that painted yellow rock or whatever right there in the middle of the, of the creek. Painted. It's probably a big rock of gold, but you should go look at it. <laughs> Anyhow, some spots in where this is, some heavy boulders and shit i'm gonna move and do some digging and then there's a gravel bar down there a little bit there i'm gonna try that and uh and if not maybe head up and dig behind that great big rock right there sticking up right across the river maybe i might be able to get there and dig behind that and see what's in there actually i think i'll go up there first that looks promising well, i'll go have a look I got to and from the camera without killing myself. Very slippery here. But that's good, that's my second pan. You probably won't be able to see it. Um, but I got one little flake and another little small color and a couple speckers in here. So, promising I'm gonna uh, do a little more digging. my snuffer bottle.
somehow uh, and after slipping on those slippery rocks that I commented on and falling in the river which uh, that's no big deal uh, hell if I had 10 bucks for every time I fell in the river I have a full tank of gas by now <laughs> but uh, anyhow uh, yeah I did I bruised my hip up I guess like ah shit and considering where I was if I get hurt down there ain't nobody coming uh, on another note, the creek, Keithley Creek, and I imagine many others, are at this time of year is ridiculously high. It's bank to bank. And uh, talking to the owner of the claim, that's unheard of in uh, August. It's like it should be, you know, half of that. Lots of gravel banks and all kinds of exposed rocks. So, um, yeah, that's kind of a big detriment and uh, unfortunately everything else up there is under 20 feet of overburden you know, I'm just saying, which I'm not about to dig through filling in a ditch is one thing but uh, yeah um, anyhow it was a uh, hella interesting uh, learned a lot it was really cool being in a place with so much history and uh, getting the experience and I'll probably be going back there at some point, but uh, for now, uh, other adventures await. Stay tuned, and with that, stay safe, and good luck. <laughs>